Yeah, really excited. It's been a long, long journey to get here. Um, you know, off season's been long, and then we extended our preseason this year to focus on a couple of things that we learned from last year. And the players are ready to go to uh, Louisville and put a performance in in front of you know in front of uh, everyone who's watching. So yeah, really excited. The the team's excited. The staff's excited, and we we're just ready to go. In terms of preparation, you've had a, a very long preseason. How, how prepared do you feel this team has, has become from day one to now? Yeah, like I said, there's been things that we wanted to focus on, um, areas that you know we might not have done last preseason, and we wanted to make them a priority going into into this season. So we worked on that preseason. We had some competitive games um, during preseason, also, and. You know, we've added uh, new players to the group, so I had to make them feel at home with the with the players that we already had here. So there's a lot of lot of things that we had to get in place to make sure that we're ready to go for this uh, upcoming game. And so you look back, and it's it's right around the corner now. Um, and like I said, we're we're all excited and and prepared for what's at stake in this first game. The start of the season on the road is. is- difficult um, because you haven't really done much you know, traveling outside mm-hmm. of going to IMG yeah. uh, to have a road trip like this right off the gate. How difficult is that, not just you know, physically on the players of the travel, but just kind of mentally of you know, going into a hostile environment to start the season? Yeah, I would say that is probably one of the one of the challenges with us having the privileges of being in Florida and a lot of teams coming here for their off-season uh, or pre-season camps. Um, you know, it's it's easier for us to schedule games and to be on the road first game. You know, we get out of the way early. Um, we, a lot of players have been to Louisville in previous seasons. Um, and so you, the reason we went to IMG is to get away from our facility, although it was still in Florida, you know, how how it is to having a roommate, meal times, um, you know, evening meals. That was the whole reason we did that. So they, they're used to that. Obviously, you've got to add a flight to it um, as well. But yeah, we, we just got to focus on ourselves and focus on our game. And, you know, it's a game that everyone's played since they were young. And, you know, it, it'll be enjoyable, but it's going to be hard work. And that's something that we've implemented from the start of preseason. There's no there's no gimmies in this league. You've got to go out and earn everything. And so the players understand that and they know their roles and responsibilities when they go out to the field. And, and yeah, it doesn't matter if you're home or away. We're going to ask the same demands as as a as uh, any other game. And looking at Louisville, obviously, kind of a new coach, mm. some consistency in the head coaching position, but um, kind of new identity a little bit, uh, similar players. What are you kind of expecting from them, knowing that there's going to be a little bit of a change to how they played last year? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of unknowns, to be honest. Um, you know, Bev was there last year uh, as an assistant and and. You know, great for her being the head coach now and being able to lead this team. Um, and so it may look different, you know, different style of play, different formation. Like you said, they've added some key players um, to their roster and we have to be aware of that. Like I said, you know, it's not, it's not, there's no easy games. There's, everything's a challenge, but I think we just have to stick to who we are as a team and our principles, our identity and, and you know, how we started last year. Uh, can really have an influence of the uh, end of the season. So we need to start strong uh, and aggressive and and go after Louisville like we would any other team. You kind of mentioned that, just starting the season strong, knowing that how things started last year kind of affected the, the way the season ended. How much have you been kind of harping on, on the team about a strong start to the season? Yeah. We, I mean, we wanted that last year, but there was a lot of unknowns within ourselves. You know, myself, the the rest of the staff, new players, young players, and you know, the, the difficulty of going to Poland on the opening days. Obviously, a challenge uh, after they've won a uh, NWSL championship. So they know, and they've been through it, and they understand what we have to do to go out there and win and start strong. And and so we've we've you know, give the players that message and 
and within the group and themselves and the leaders in the group, they're going to drive that also. So, yeah, like I said, we're in a good place and we understand what, what we need to do um, to go out there and get a, a successful result. Um, I just have one question. We obviously talked a lot about continuing consistency from last year and sort of picking up where we left off, but obviously there still were some changes to the team in the offseason. What's maybe like the one new thing about this team that you're excited for fans to see uh, this weekend and also at the home? Um, I think just it's a freshness with the new additions. Um, you know, we've added quality in, in various areas, um, have a bit more control of the ball and, and we can play from back to front whilst using our midfield. Um, and again, building on what we started last year or how we ended last year, we can continue that sort of mindset and that identity with... Um, with a little bit more quality, I, I would say. Um, and, you know, Haley had a busy off season adding players and, you know, we're going to throw them right in into this environment and they've been with us all pre-season also. So the, it's all gelling and coming together. And I think, you know, the consisting will be, you know, it's a, a full squad roster, however you want to call it, um, a season. You know, everyone is going to, be needed to be relied on um, with the additional two teams there's more travel with that as well so there's a lot of competition within the places uh, makes my job a lot harder but it means everyone's got an opportunity to go out there and perform and, and take their chance when they step onto the field.